This is our Thermal I.O. demo. It's demonstrating advanced thermal solution designs to meet tomorrow's next generation pluggable requirements. With the next generation modules requiring 112 and 224 gig, the modules are gonna have increased power consumption requirements, up to 35 watts. The biggest challenge with cooling these modules is in today's technology, be it a zipper fin or a heat pipe, it's all limited by the dry interface between the module and the riding pedestal. The way we overcome that is through a TIM material, a thermal interface material. But we've been limited in today's designs to introducing this because of the, the nature of a TIM material and the sharp bleeding edges on the module. The way we overcome this is through our drop-down heatsink technology. What drop-down heatsinks do is allow us to introduce the TIM material into the pedestal while protecting it for over 100 cycles of durability. With this technology, we can see a potential six to nine degrees thermal improvement at the T4 location, which is traditionally where the DSP is located. We can see customers implementing this in one of two ways. If you have a system that's already being successfully run, but at a high duty cycle, this thermal interface could actually allow you to turn down the RPMs and get an overall system power efficiency savings. Alternatively, you could take advantage of this by taking a system that's already optimized for 25 or 30 watts, introduce the drop-down heatsink, and then add that 5 watts to the module with a limited added cost to solve this thermal challenge. We're very excited about this new innovation, the potential problems that we'll solve for our customers, both on current and next generation applications.